Do you want to win every single fight? Well, you came to the right place. In this video I'm gonna show you some of the best moves you need to know. So let's hop right into this video. Let's start with the basics. When the opponent is in front of your box, you're gonna quickly edit the wall and block his shot with the ramp and peace control him. That will allow you to get free damage on him, or maybe even anneal him. If you can't block him with a ramp, you're gonna build a ramp in your own box if it's not already built and you're gonna edit it like this. While using this pick, opponent can't see you, which allows you to get free damage on him. This ramp pick is also very good to use when the opponent pressures your box from above. You can even pre-fire him or quickly edit the floor and shoot him while using the pick. If you're very low with health and you don't want to risk it, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna place a ramp and expand your box behind you and if the opponent is following you, you will try to pre-fire him while he's breaking your builds or maybe even surprise him with the right hand pick edits. If the opponent is on your box, you're gonna quickly edit out of your box and place a high wall. Then what you're gonna be doing, you're gonna go for the peace control so you can get free damage on him. Another situation is when opponent is spaced up on the high ground. In this situation, you're gonna build this protected high ground retake. And with this move, you can also try to go for big shots like this. This will allow you to get free damage on the opponent while slowly going on height. Isn't that great? Another great tip about box fight is to build 2x2 instead of 1x1 box, because it gives you much more space for escaping or outplaying opponents. For example, if the opponent pressures your box from the right side of the box, what you're gonna do is you're gonna quickly edit the wall that he pressures and go for the right hand pick shot. After that, you can edit left side of the box and fully peace control him to get a free elim. What if the opponent pressures your box from the left side? In this situation, you're gonna edit the wall that is on the right side of the box and you're gonna quickly go for the right hand pick shot and quickly peace control him, similar to the first example. If the opponent pressures the side wall of the 2x2 box, you're gonna go to the box behind you and quickly place a ramp like this so you can have right hand pick. And from this angle you can quickly peace control him from every side and hopefully get an elim. Next thing I want to show you is phasing into other people's boxes. The most common phase trick is to build a ramp behind you and perfectly time the pick swing or gunshot to break into your opponent's box. If you want to phase into your opponent's box from above, you will need to have a ramp or edited cone on the top of the box. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna crouch under it and while you're crouching underneath it, you just need to break the floor and you're just like that in the opponent's box. For phasing from below, you will need to crouch underneath the floor and while they're moving forward, you will just need to break it. It's that easy. Also, in addition to that, you can also place a cone while you're underneath the box which will confuse your opponent even more. The last thing I want to show you are phase tricks, but not like in the previous examples. I'm talking about these phases. To phase a ramp, you'll just need to go to the edge of the box and build or edit the ramp if it's already placed. With this trick, you can shoot through the ramp and confuse your opponents. You can also phase through the ramp like this. This trick is very good for pre-fires and quick outplays. If you want to phase through the floor, you will need to stand like this. It's a very tricky move to get some free damage on opponents when they least expect it. Ok, that's gonna be it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Till the next time, bye.